Okay guys, welcome back to another Scrap and Irish video. Thanks for tuning in again, really appreciate it. Uh, hit that like guys, hit that subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Um, and um, get ready to share it out with all your uh, friends if you're into the e-waste. So, I done a video a while back, I don't know which video it was, but it was one, it was only not too long ago, on um, these CPU pins. I took 100 grams CPU pins, and I put them in to get the gold off the actual pin itself. So as you've seen in that, it was uh, that CPU pin. We had a lot of um, um, dirt and stuff on the pins and filtering through the filtration system and all that, which is something I expected anyhow because it didn't make a difference because it's going through Aqua Regia again afterwards. So at another video, so that, I'm not too worried about that. But if Another way of doing that, besides just dumping these pins, these 100 grams straight into nitric, is to clean them up a bit first. So putting them into HCL, hot HCL, or boiling HCL. So that's what I'm going to do on this video, guys. I'm going to show you another method of doing it. Is in the um, so again, sorry, just set the scales up. Okay, and we're going to put 100 grams in there so these are all just from CPUs Ooh, 103 so we'll leave it at 103 we won't be too worried about that or 104 we're not worried about a couple of grams but um so I'm gonna go do then is I'm gonna put this into hot um, uh, or boiling HCL and that will take off all the solder, solder and all the little bits of other stuff that's on the on them and we should be left with cleaner pins for putting them into um, the nitric so I'll be taking them out of the filtering them out of the um, hot HCL and then putting them into um, into nitric to remove the gold pins, so hopefully it'll mean this let the nitric won't be wasting its time on solder. So again, nitric is more expensive than HCL, um, and that way then you won't be wasting your money on um, the nitric just using it up on the tin solder. Uh, some of it will be sil silver solder, um, on some of the CPUs they did use a silver solder, um, so some of it will be silver. So again, collect that up. Um, all my stuff afterwards goes into a. Um, waste um, container and uh, I'll process that further for the silvers, the platinum, stuff like that hopefully eventually but for the main part of the moment is the gold I'm looking for. So let's go to the shed where I'll get the um, HCL and get it up to boiling and we can put these in and let them work away. Okay guys so I've got the hydrochloric acid to a boil and I've left it outside it's raining at the moment but Add a small bit at a time. You can see there the reaction straight away. I don't want to create a boil over, so I just do it bit by bit. So I'll let that work away. So that should clear up all the solder and all the other little bits of it. So I shouldn't have the same issues as I had on the last one. So hopefully that'll work. So we'll check back later when we get ready for next stage. Okay guys, so I've been leaving the CPUs in the um, hydrochloric acid for the last couple of days to remove any of the tin and stuff like that from it. So I'm about to filter that off um, It's the next stage I'll do on that. So this should have uh, removed a lot of the tin and stuff. So the la it should eliminate the problem I had from the last time. Now I'm just going to put my mask on because again, when I open the top of that, I'll have a, a hydrochloric acid fumes. Um, so I'll just put my mask on and get the gloves out. So all I'm going to be doing is filtering it off. Um, sorry if you can't hear me too well, but 
repair problems afterwards. So I'm just going to filter this off and then the pins are going to be washed in boiling water to make sure I have no more hydrochloric acid left on it. So you can see the fumes coming off of there. So there are my CPU pins that are left in there. So they're going to be washed in boiling water a couple of times to make sure that all the hydrochloric acid is gone from it. Because um, you don't want to be putting this into nitric with the hydrochloric acid still on the pins. Because what can happen is it can dissolve your gold. Um, because you created a, a version of the... Um, Acaregia, because again, acaregia, as anyone knows, is your hydrochloric acid mixed with your nitric. So by having hydrochloric still on the pins, and when you add the nitric, it automatically will dissolve the gold into solution instead of just dissolving the base metals and leaving the gold behind. So I'm going to wash this in a couple of times in, um, in uh, boiling water. And then I'm going to uh, put it into nitric and then I shouldn't have as much metal, base metals to dissolve. So like the solder is gone, uh, most of the solder has been dissolved in the hydrochloric acid and then we'd be just ready for um, the nitric just to do its work. And then again these pins, gold flakes can be added to my collection to be done into acaregia at some stage. So um, I'm going to wash these out in boiling water guys. And we can check in then when we're ready to put it into the nitric. So um, you don't have to sit through all that. Uh, you can just watch me work, working with the nitric acid straight away. Okay guys, so I have washed this out with uh, boiling water about four or five times to make sure there's no hydrochloric acid left in it. Um, so there are your CPU pins and I'm about to add a little bit of nitric to it so we're just going to put a small bit in at the start just to get the reaction going so there we go it didn't take much to get the reaction going so again I have this outside and um, it's working away perfect So you can see there the fumes coming off it. So what I'll do is I'll add a bit more nitric, let that work away for a while, and then I'll um, come back. Oh, there we go, plenty of air this time. There's the fumes. So we'll just put this on top, it slows down the amount of fumes coming out. Uh, I have this outside so uh, plenty of room, plenty of air. I'm making sure I'm stepping well back from the camera. I have the camera zoomed in to give a better view. Um, so I'll let that work away and I'll keep adding nitric as, as needed. I may need to decant because again I haven't got a really big jar so as I end up getting the um, Solids being the oxides being put back out, the metals being put back into the liquid. I can I'll have to decant and add more, um, more nitric, and just keep adding and adding and adding um, until I get it fully, um, like I did in the last ones. But this time it shouldn't take as much because of I've already ran the nitric through it, and not the nitric, the hydrochloric acid through it to make sure that we got rid of it all. So. That's it guys, we'll check back in a while and we'll see how we got on after a few days. I'll let that run for a day or two and we'll see how we get on, how the foils are coming off um, onto the, into the liquid. Okay guys, so it's been about um, 14 hours since I um, put in the nitric. I've decanted this morning, so I um, uh, decanted this amount off from this jar. So I've decanted that off, it has some foils floating around in it, 
so that'll be filtered out at a later date um, later in the video I'll filter that out and as you can see this is the main part so you can see all the foils have built up here I've added new nitric, fresh nitric into it just to kick it off again and as you can see it's still doing so there's still a lot of base metals in it um, so um, it's, it's still a lot of base metals there as you can see uh, we still have fuming so I've just a little wash bottle like the cap at the top there uh, to let the fumes out um, so I'll let that carry on until it dies down I'll add a bit more nitric and if need I'll decant again and until I've all the base metals gone but there's still a lot of base metals in there so check back again in a while and we'll see how the base metals are getting on so I'll leave it another 12 hours and we'll see what it's like okay guys so um, these are the um, CPU pins that I'm still being this is the filtration part of it so these are the CPU pins that I've done some of them in the um, treating them first with the hydrochloric acid to take as much of the tin and other um, base metals out of it before I put it into the nitric to remove the rest of the base metals and hopefully leave me with just the um, just the gold uh, pins or gold gold um, foils so as you've seen in previous video that's the foils I collected from the first lot I done I still haven't um, taken them out of this I've decided to leave them in there and actually add these foils to them because when I what I'm going to do is be processing I'm going to run all these through the same process and eventually end up with whatever amount of foils I end up with from them and treat them all in the acaregia at the end um, so I'm just going to pour off some of these foils that's in this one and then I have another jar to pour off as well um, so you can see down here there's a lot of foils down there so I'll test them to make sure they're not magnetic and um, that I have got rid of all the base metals if I haven't that we put back in so we can see here I run a magnet underneath and no reaction so um, we have all the um, base metals gone and I'm just sorry you can't see that I'm running a magnet here at the bottom and if there's any base metals in there they would move around with it and follow the magnet around um, but there is none so I have no base metals left there so that can be all that's just all foils it's going to be washed into that uh, eventually and then we still have this one to do, do, do so as well you can see the foils floating there inside of that so we've got some a nice pile of foils floating around so um, that will be done as well so once I've filtered all them through guys we can come back and we can see what I ended up with um, and hopefully we'll have another pile of foils and then uh, that'll be kind of it for the video of the CPU pins I'm just going to do the rest in off camera you don't need to see me doing all these you know the processes to do them and um, we'll see then when we come to dropping the gold foils into the um, hydrochloric acid and nitric the acaregia I'll do a video on that so you can see them uh, being dissolved and stuff like that and we'll see what the drop video then later as well so uh, check back guys when these are all uh, filtered through and we'll see what we ended up with so guys it's nearly uh, filtered all the way through so you can see the foils there nicely building up um, so that, that, that's looking good nice um, thick layer of foils so what I'll do is I'll wash all them down once that's just drained down a bit more I'll wash all them down into the centre of that uh, I just wanted to show you what's left so as you can see in the bottom of this jar we have some magnetic, so you can see it moving around with the um, actual magnet at the bottom. So that still has a small little bit of pins left in it. So I'll put them into a jar and the next batch I'll be doing, they'll be added to it. And that way then um, they'll be dissolved away any of them that's left. So that jar has a bit left in it. And um, I just filtered some into here as well. You can see them a bit better if I focus in. Just to give you an idea. So you can see them bits are left. They are all magnetic so that you can see there the magnet will bring them around. There's no foils left in this one. I have this one fairly cleaned out. Um, so that's just all just magnetic which I can throw away. I don't need now. That can be disposed of. Um, so there's no point wasting the acid on that. Um, so that's kind of it guys. I'll just 
brush these down or water them down into the center. So there's a nice thick layer of, um, of pins or foils on the pins. So you can see them there as I've washed them down. Just falling down into the center. So again, I'll keep keep these all until I'm ready to um, fruit and I've all the rest of the pins done in the nitric. And we've all the foils gathered up from the CPUs and then we'll do a uh, acaregia um, to finish them off. So it's um, not too bad at all, fairly happy with that. Uh, the the uh, process was very good with the um, hydrochloric acid first to remove as much of the um, the base metals um, before I put them straight into the um, nitric, um, which uh, the water and nitric, dilute nitric, which was um, it warmed a bit to make the process a bit quicker and um, it seemed to have done a good job and the foils are um, you can, well, you can see the results there yourself, guys. It's um, it looks well. So I'm going to carry on. That's the end of this video. I'm going to carry on and do the rest of these um, pins that have to be done. Once they're all completed and I have all the foils from them, we'll be doing a um, dissolving them in acaregia and um, then eventually doing a drop and then eventually doing a melt and seeing what gold we uh, end up with from them at the end. So. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please feel free to share this out. Um, like, comment, um, subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed. That's the most important bit. Uh, please subscribe. And um, don't forget to check out my lives on the Monday nights. And if you want to join in, don't be afraid. I'd put the link out there. You're more than welcome uh, to join in and chat. And um, guys, till the next time, keep on looking for them gold.